Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss the question for partial fractions. Step number one, to check whether it's proper fraction or not. So by referring to the numerator, it is the degree of 2. The denominator would be a degree of 3. So for this case, it is a proper fraction. Second step is to check, is it able to factorize for the denominator? So for this case, yes it is we can factorize the situation x plus 2 2 x plus 1 so we have three factor in this situation step number three to determine the types of factors in the denominator so please take note we have repeated denominator so this one can consider as repeated linear so step number four have a basic structure so for this case negative 6x squared plus 5x plus 7 over x plus 2 2x squared that will be the simplest form so for this case we have a linear and a repeated linear factor so the basic structure will be x plus 2 plus 2x plus 1 power 1, 2x plus 1, power 2. So the numerator for x plus 2 will be a constant because x plus 2 is a linear, followed by 2x plus 1, also a constant. The final part would be a repeated linear. It is not a quadratic, it's a repeated linear, so the numerator will be a constant. Then we are going to multiply both sides with the denominator. So we will have negative 6x squared plus 5x plus 7 equals to a to x plus 1 squared plus b x plus 2 2x plus 1 and c we have x plus 2. So now I'm going to use the substitution method to find the value for a, b and c. So in order to find the value A, I'm going to make sure that the B and C disappear. So I'm going to check, do they have a common factor? So in here we have X plus 2 is their common factor. So in order to make sure that the B and C disappear, we have to substitute the value negative 2. So the next part will be B. So is the A and C has the common factor? So in this case, it is not. So we are going to skip the B and look for C. So when referring, we are going to find the value C, we have to refer A and B. So do they have the common factor? So in this case, yes, it is. The common factor is 2x plus 1. In order to make it become 0, so x will be a negative 1 over 2. Finally, we have to look for the value B by substituting any value. So for example, 0. So with the help of the calculator, kindly key in the negative 6x squared plus 5x plus 7 into the calculator. And with the axis of the function calculate, you can look for the value for the left hand side. So if I calculate the value negative 2 for the value x, so I will have negative 27 for the left hand side. If I substitute a 0, it will be a 7 for the left hand side. If I substitute negative 1 over 2, it will be a 3 for the left hand side. Next, I'm going to look for the value A. So I'm going to substitute the value negative 2. So in here, I'm going to have a negative, we have a 9 A. Then A will be equal to negative 3. The second one will be look for looking for C. So if I substitute the value negative 1 over 2, so I will have 3 over 2 C. So C will be equal to 2. Finally, in order to find the value B, I'm going to substitute the value X equals to 0. So I will have A for the right hand side. And then I will have 2B. And then finally 2C. Okay, so substitute the value A negative 3 and then substitute the value C we have 4 so in here we are
going to have negative 3 plus 4, we have 1. Rearrange, we have 6 equals to 2b. So b will be equals to 3. So now we are going to substitute the value a, b, c into the partial fractions. So negative x squared, 6x squared plus 5x plus 7 over x plus 2. 2x plus 1 squared equals to a negative 3 over x plus 2 plus 3 over 2x plus 1. C will be 2 over 2x plus 1 to the power of 2. So this is a partial fraction. Here we are and thanks for watching.